Okay, this is a um, basic drag and drop um, video. So to show you how you could, this is a little bit of code that we're going to run so you can create objects and I can click on that object and drag it around the screen. And notice also when I click on it, it will centralize to my mouse position instead of just uh, staying where it is, it's quite nice. Um, so in terms of uh, the code itself, um, you need to be happy with object oriented programming to understand a lot of this, but I've got a key class. Um, don't know why I've called it a key, it could have been called anything, but th those blocks are keys and they are based on a sprite. Um, I've got a constructor which um, gives it a load of properties. So that super key um, self is going to run the parent class, the sprite class, and then I need to uh, load an image. So I'll give each key an image. I'm going to say by default it's set, set the click to false. And be able to get its rectangle, its rec position. So I can do like rec.x and things like that. Rec.x and rec.y start off as being the x and y position, not a pass it. Um, Self.clicked equals false. I've got that twice. I don't need that, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'll give it an ID and I've got some link stuff, which I didn't actually end up using in this video, but I will use in the next one. Then. Once we've got our class, so I'm making a key list, which is a pygame.sprite group. And then inside uh, our main program loop, if you click the mouse button, it gets the mouse position, does the X and Y, finds that from the return data structure we've gone through before. Um, if event.button equals equals three, what that means is, it, are you pressing the middle mouse button? If you are, it, 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 it looks at the, it uses the x and y position of your mouse, to find out where you are, and it appends a key um, to the key list. So basically, it adds a key to the screen. Uh, elif, if the event uh, button is one, is the left click for key and key list. If uh, you are basically over that key, so uh, for each key and key list, in key list, sorry, if uh, the rectangle of that key. Uh, collides with the mouse position, so basically it means your mouse is over it. Then you uh, turn the boolean clicked to true for that key. Um, and if it's right clicked, that's to do with links, but we are not going on to that yet because I didn't get it finished working in this one, but I have done the next one, so don't just completely ignore that bit there, okay? Because it works much better in the next one. Um, and then if it's mouse button up, it turns key click to false, like we've used in the old one. Right, now this is a clever bit. <coughs> for um, each key, so when it's doing the game logic before it draws, for each key and key list, if it's clicked, so that means if you're holding the mouse button and you're over the key at that time, then you change the key's X and Y position to equal the uh, position you've got from the mouse. Okay, the reason it does this key dot rect dot width divided by two is so that when you click you're holding the center of that key, not the edge and things like that, which I think looks nicer. Um, and that's how you can get it to follow your mouse. Um, because you change if you think the X position, if that equals the position of the mouse minus half of the width of the key, uh, that'll work. And then all you do is turn all the screen to black and then um, do key.list.draw and draw everything in that Pygame sprite group to the screen. Just show you one in one last time. I can right click to add them to the screen and then I can drag them around. 